I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the cream of the crop and our new favorite luxury fifth wheel on the market today. This is the 2022 Van Lee Beacon Model 34 RLB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Beacon and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you the Beacon. This is one of their smaller floor plates, but before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. This um, Beacon is very similar to, um, what was it? Sorry. The Volano. The Volano that we did um, a while back. So at first I thought it was the same, but I realized this is gonna be the higher end. Yes. Know, nicer finishes version of that. Yes, so. exactly Will. So if you love that Volano, but you wanted a little creme de la creme, a little bit of salt on your filet. That's right. This Beacon's for you. Will, let's begin. Model is Van Lee Beacon 34 RLB. The actual tip to tip length is 34 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 13,000 pounds even, which is sus. Full suspect that it's an even number. Right. And the hitch weight's 2,600 pounds even. And again, guys, these are generalized specifics from the manufacturer. Each unit's built by hand, so each unit's gonna weigh a little different. That's right. Right up front here, it does come standard with the full body paint. With, it does come standard with the painted front cap. Hang on, was full body paint an option on this or no? Uh, I think that, no, that's standard on this. Okay, standard on this. I was about to say, yeah. Uh, full body paint comes standard, painted fiberglass front cap. Well, look at this white cap. It yeah. looks absolutely amazing. It does. I love what they got going on here. You know what it kind of looks like? What? A rattlesnake. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right up here, it does have the Roto Flex trailer pin box. Um, the, if you're buying a newer one, it's going to be the current Roto Flex pin box. Right. Same thing. Underneath here, Will, we got storage. The metal covering means it is prepped for a generator. Love that. This is the Beacon. Top of the line, beautiful painted mm -hmm. handles. Propane tanks go here. And as you can see here, this is your six point hydraulic auto leveling. Yes. Right over here, Will. Look at this, held up by magnets. Very nice. Eh, not too nice. Eh, okay, decent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, decent amount of storage. I've seen a lot bigger storage on smaller units. Yep. Uh, centralized vacuum right here, aluminum framing, just really, really nice. Uh, and yeah. Coming around here, okay, look at this. Remember the last beacon couldn't have the hydraulic assist? Yes. These are the Lippert Steps hydraulic assist steps. Nice. Which we are a big fan of. And some that I didn't call out the last beacon, Well, Look at this handle with the little- Right, uh, that's nice. Yeah, very nice. Power awning with LED lights. I, I like how they used every square inch almost. Yeah. And then they did put another power awning right here. Frameless windows and then look at this beautiful full body paint. It does look nice. One thing I love that Tiffin does, Will, for all the RV dealership workers, says hard brushes will damage the exterior paint of the exterior. So don't, it's a nice paint shop, don't worry. Yeah. Me. That's what I'm trying to say. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Cooper tires. I love those. 275, that 75 R17.5 say fan lee in the middle and it is the trailer lippert component road armor suspension very nice coming around the back well look at this a nice fiberglass rear cap nice very nice feature uh we've seen some other higher end fifth wheels that didn't even have that so i love that they have that and what we mean is uh more entry level more price point units the side wall meets here and the back wall meets here. That's an actual molded cap that goes over it. It's just less likely to leak that way. It looks a lot better. That's right. Um, nice bumper for the stinky slinky. Uh, I don't like how it's out. It does look more higher end that it's flush. Right. But I like it out a little bit more. What say you? Yeah, I mean, it's hard because it looks nice with the fiberglass cap, but then I like a bumper. 
right for you know a little bit of added protection so uh, yeah a hitch does go there for a bike rack and uh it is prepped for a fury on backup camera and there is a ladder to get up on the roof nice three lights roll tide we going up there will yeah let's go can. up there and take a look all right up here on the roof you can see it's a nice one piece tpo roof not one not two but three air conditioning units i love that right there you can see the shower dome place for max air fans and right there's your wine guard digital antenna here we go now it's a big one be careful well no this is a great step oh is step. it okay yes. it looks like it actually i much prefer that okay last if step I have my u step with me <laughs> oh great and if you haven't already smash that thumbs up button for us america one of the RV sales teams coming to Texas to the Lone Star State taking his fat ass up on the roof just to show you some Van Lee beacons. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Will. 50 amp power cord on an electric Man, reel. They do it right. They do it right. Right here is going to be an access compartment for your refrigerator. Okay. Over here is your water heater painted, furnace painted. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Tank fill, black tank flush, water filtration system, potable water fill, potable, potable. Really, really nice. Yes. Well, well, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. How the heck? What? The lights are still on the Arcadia. Oh. That's weird. Solar. Huh, that's pretty good. Okay, we'll start up front. Up here is that bedroom. Then a bathroom. And then coming down is the kitchen. Oh my god. Living area and dining area. Where are we starting today? Well, I'm gonna take a quick nap, but let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lipper. All right. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. Well, we are back, and let me tell you something, brother. I'm not gonna tell you nothing. Okay. Have a seat. Nice comfy couch. Bro. <laughs> it is. Is that comfy. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something about it. It's like, it, it's literally what Will says a comfy couch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like extra padded. Right. On the bottom and very nice, very plush. Yeah. Right there, we do got USB and side tables and everything. Right here, yeah. Nice window valances. Yeah. Will, show us that tall storage. Okay. I mean, that's tall for Will to get to. Yeah, it is pretty tall. Right there. Oh, all soft clothes. Mm. Right here. And finishing it off right here. Very nice. Over here, Will, we do got daytime shades and privacy shades. Nice. Okay, and then over here, weren't you commenting on this last time? Yeah, I think those valances are just a little bulky. I think, I think almost, I mean, I don't want to say the likes and dislikes, but like I'm agreeing with you, especially on this floor plan. Yeah. Uh, right over here. I mean, don't get me wrong, they look very nice. Oh, but... yeah. But definitely big. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. No carpet in the slide out. Nice flush floor slide. Okay. Oh yeah, game over. <laughs> Cup holder here, sitting here, relaxing. 
looking directly across at the TV, which all you gotta do, Will, is push a button. Nice. And it comes all the way up. While it's coming up, let's take a look at this awesome storage above. Nice. Nice honeycomb pattern in the right, glass. Right, right. Little slow on the TV, but again, I'm just pushing it once. I'm not sitting there holding it. It could be I, the jump box too. Could be. Lights are dimming a little bit, so. Yes, sir. Right there we do got speaker sound system and a nice big fireplace. What's nice about that fireplace is it does produce heat from electricity and the TV stopped and the lights are getting dim. So Will is 100% right, but look at how big this TV is. Yes. And it's not even all the way out. Right. Very nice. Over here, Will, we do have a nice table and chairs. Okay. Yeah, full body paint standard. Yeah. I was about to say, you're not getting this without full body paint. Wait, it says options. Different colors. Oh, like you picked the color. Yeah, because options on here was only like $1,500. Yeah, six sixteen ninety eight. Yeah. That's so. great that it's a standard. Um, really, really nice table and chairs. Good for two people. And that's what this unit is. You don't need four chairs. Put two extra chairs, throw them under the bed. This is only for two people with the occasional guest. And again, when you do have that occasional guest, you're not sitting like on the slide out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Really, really nice feature, big windows and everything. Will, would you like to show us the kitchen? Of course, before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We are now partnered with RV Retailers. Yes. So we're nationwide where we can help you guys. So if you see this unit or any unit you like, really, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, um, reach out to us, and we'll make sure to get you taken care of. Perfect. Let's continue, Will. All right, we'll start over here. Again, all soft close cabinetry in here. Mm -hmm. Cabinets are like one of the important things with um, any Tiffin product in Van Lee. Storage there. Yes. Nice convection microwave there. Very nice. Great size window um, right here. Hand laid backsplash. Yes. Oh, very fine there. And Will, I mentioned this last time. Look at the imperfections. Yes. I love that. People are like, oh, it's not perfect. Bro, that's called hand laid. It is, yep. Right. Good counter space on both sides of the four burner insignia cooktop with a nice big residential apartment sized oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. A little bit of storage there. Is it Whataburger approved? <laughs> Probably. And a couple of drawers here. Everything is very nice. Opens really well. Soft close. America. We're in Texas and Will doesn't want to go to Whataburger with neither does Jen. Yeah. Leave a comment down below. Let them know they messed up. <laughs> Nice spray faucet here, double bowl uh, sink here, kind of the farmhouse style. Solid surface countertops are at the mm. whole kitchen. Oh, they did the two-tone in here. Oh, good. good Storage here. Uh, power right there. No um, dishwasher. dishwasher, but I would bet you money that it's yeah, prepped. Yeah, remember last time we did. But that's kind of weird how in a beacon I know, it's not. I know. Like, I'm cool with it being in a Volano knot. Right. It is weird. And you want to know what else is weird? Jump box practically dead. Yeah. But, I mean, you couldn't even tell because it's still so light and bright it in is, there. It is, yeah. Um, great pantry, I mean, great um, refrigerator here, residential sized. And freezer down below. A little bit of storage up top as well. Very nice. And then right here is the pantry. Plenty of storage and everything is held back so that uh, you don't damage anything. Not like JD's unit. <laughs> right. There you go. And then finishing it off right over here. Some nice big storage there. Again, hand laid backsplash. Mm, so you looks good. Um, a little coffee nook. Not enough for a taco bar, unfortunately. And storage right there. Maybe a Taco Bell taco bar. <laughs> right. Where you just lay the tacos out. Right. Okay, well, show us the shower. Okay, let's see. This bathroom's a little darker. Oh, man. Can you still see okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is actually a smaller shower right. than I was expecting. But gets the job done. There is really good height. Okay. The width is actually decent. It's just that not depth. oversized. Right. Yeah, the depth isn't great. And it's not oversized like you see in most fifth wheels. So it's still gonna pass, bing! But it's on the smaller side. Yes, yes, I concur. Right over here, Wells, the medicine cabinet. Okay. Good for all your medicines. Nice solid surface in here. 
Nice storage underneath there. Okay. Then we got a toilet. Porcelain. A little door right here. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very oh. nice. And then finishing up well, we do have a nice big king size bamboo bed. What do you think about that? Yeah, it looks great. Nice headboard, side windows, USB outlets on both sides. Really, really nice. And that's a deep slide up there. It front. is. Right over here, we do got storage. Okay. Okay, right there. Yes, sir. And then over here, we do have sliding storage. And that is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Very nice. Over here, we got six dresser drawers. Soft closed. Yeah. TV. And you know there's storage underneath you with those it. guest chairs and some extra pillows. Yep. Well, well. People are dying to know what the MSRP is, and we will let them know in just a few moments. But first, we have to give people three things we love about the Van Lee Beacon and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, that's gonna be tough, but I'm glad you said that first. Okay. I'm gonna follow. I me. got one. Okay, I got one too. You you go with yours first. Okay. Is it up there? No. Okay. For me, being higher end. Um, I'm very surprised they did this kind of slide here. Mm. Again, you know, there's mid pros and Tiffin's supposed to be highest of the highest. Yep. And there's mid pros that aren't even high end mid pros that don't have this slide. Like an Avenue. Right. I mean, that's low end mid pro. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> if you guys don't know, Will owns an Avenue. No, I 100% agree with you. And, and again, these are okay if that oven is right to the tip of it. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean, saying? Even then I'm not crazy about it, but right. it's okay. Um, but yeah, it's, you would definitely, and what I realized is to make it even worse, like if you don't have shoes on, I can mm. totally see you sl like sliding your toes under there and that would hurt. Mm -mm -mm. Roll tide, Will. Yeah. That's number one. Will, number two? Yeah. Oh, number two would be the balances. We'll go with that again. Yep. Um, nothing wrong with doing not, it again. Yeah, they're, they're just, and again, there's nothing like wrong with them. They're just kind of big and bulky. They look great, but. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're they're protruding out yeah. three, four, five inches, and and it's not and one. It is kind of taking up the space, but it's like taking up your head space. You know, you lose four inches on this side, four inches on that side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it adds up. Yes, and then that kind of leads in to my final dislike. Okay. Um, Will's pointing to the dishwasher. Uh, we can combo not okay. having the dishwasher in with the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This price point is to come with a dishwasher. Yeah. But you ready for this, Will? What? I hate this floor plan in this unit. Do you? Yep. Why is that? And that sounds very weird. Um, This is the traditional layout. Yeah. You want tradition, like, I'm, personally, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, I'm getting a beacon. I want that last beacon, you know what I'm saying? I want big, I want huge, I want extravagance. Right. This, like, I feel like the Volano accomplished Here's what I'm saying. The last Volano we did, to the last Beacon we did, I see the reason why you would want to upgrade from a Volano to that Beacon. Right. But I don't see any reason why somebody would have that last Volano that would want this Beacon. Yeah. It's the same thing with body paint. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, what I'm trying to say, folks, there isn't enough pizzazz to get a Beacon from that last Volano. You know what I'm saying? Right, to upgrade. Yeah, exactly. How much was the price difference? Probably 40 grand. Yeah. There's I mean, not 40 grand in change in upgrades. I, or I, I, it may, and, and there, but maybe there is, but there's not 40 grand in floor plan. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? That's more what I mean. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. And first and foremost, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go with the new interior look, color, and oh, design. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, this is absolutely beautiful. I love what Tiffin did with this model. It looks absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, the jump box did die, but you guys saw it when it was lit up. It was beautiful and fantastic in a complete paradigm shift from what Tiffin's used to be with their interior design. Yes. I love that. That's number one. Well, number two. For me, I'm gonna go with the furniture in here. Yes. That couch was very comfortable. Up. Oh. Hang on. What was that? Uh -huh. Okay, keep going. I would <laughs> imagine it's good to sleep on. 
you know, yesterday was a Super Bowl. It would have been really nice watching from those nice big comfy chairs. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, and I think that dinette they did a really good job on. I concur. So. I concur. Cool. That's number two, Will. And then number three, huh? You know what I'm gonna say? What's that? I'm gonna go to the basics. Okay. Outside. Okay. One, I love the hydraulic assistance step. Yes. Step one beacon didn't have it. Okay. Two, I love the full body paint. I think it looks beautiful. But three, going back to the basics, well, they gave you the longest possible awnings. They that you did. Can on that and on the slide out. And at the end of the day, well, that's what it's all about. It is as beautiful as it is on the inside. It is about experiencing the outdoors. Yeah, that's right. So I love that. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP is $147,291. Will, MSRP. Okay. Not bad for a luxury fit. No, not at all. Sale price, we are now partnered with RV Retailer, which means we sell these nationwide, folks. So it doesn't matter where you live, or what you're looking to buy, all you gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact tab, and a member of our team will reach out to you and get you a phenomenal price. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Yeah, guys, uh, Vanley always builds really, really nice high-end units. Um, I really enjoyed seeing this one, and it's always nice to see top of the line. So make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Will, We'll see you next time.